Welcome to the Strings Attached Mother Daughter Knitting and All Things String Podcast. I'm Mallory. I'm Frida. And we've been gone about a month. And it's been a month. Yeah. I've got quite a bit done. No, not really any FOs, but quite a bit done. Yeah, you've been drinking stuff out. And one half FO, I guess. Yeah. And yeah, you don't have any knitting FOs, but you have home home FOs. Home improvement <laughs> FOs that yeah, you can't really show, but she's <laughs> been this house has been oh, people goodness. been in and out working and doing all kinds of stuff. The worst she, part is taking off all <laughs> my wallpaper. Oh my word. It is awful. But it's done. Yeah, it's, it's over that now. part is. Yeah. You keep talking about it. It's over now. I know. It's like you have PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Then this one man that <laughs> did her painting, he has a bat infestation, I guess, at his house. And when he left, there was a bat on mom's porch. She's like, <laughs> it came in his truck. I know it did. But it was a dead bat. It was a dead bat. And we have kittens now. So sometimes kittens yeah. will do that. We've had bats before. But she's like, every time I see her, she's like, I tell you about that guy and his bats. I'm like, yes. <laughs> She's like, well, I, I had one on my porch. I'm like, I know. So dirty. <laughs> Get over the bat. It was dead. It's so, gone. She has PTSD. I She's guess. been a little stressed. Yeah, I had been. So <laughs> everything goes. Ah. She has this back patio that has, um, like, one section of it has a roof over it, and underneath that gets all moldy. And every year she has to. Like, go up there and clean That's it. That's probably what happened to me. That When I cleaned that, all that bleach made me nuts. It was downhill from there. Yeah, that's Plus, nice. that's just exhausting. It was. Because it's got, like, these rafters, and she has to clean each oh, one. bleach. And... Yeah. Yeah. So, it's that was over. the beginning. And then she took wallpaper down in one room that was, like, basically right onto the drywall. It was stuck. It, <laughs> well, there was paint under it, but... Not much paint. There was a lot of glue in that wallpaper, mm -hmm. and it, it was just really Well, it's been up there for... How many years has it been up there? Twenties? No, that wallpaper hasn't been up but 10, 12. I got married 10 years ago. It's been 15 probably. Okay. It's primitive when I went primitive. Yeah. So yeah. She, yeah. she did her 15 years living ago. room all got wallpaper taken off, painted. The upstairs um, stairwell and hallway all got painted. The downstairs entryway hallway all got painted. Upstairs bathroom got painted. And it was really, it was bright red mm -hmm. to... Light blue. Yeah, it's, it's very <laughs> it's it's different. Just, I feel I, like I'm back in the 80s, actually. Yeah, but all the, the dark <laughs> colors were in, like, you know, 10 yeah. or 15 years ago. Now I light. loved my red for a long time. Yeah, so did I. But yeah. I don't want a single shade of red in my house now. I'm done with it. Yeah, I still have. My family room has a red wall, and I still like it. My kitchen's still red. It's Americana. My kitchen's still red, but one day I'll get to the kitchen. Yeah. I'm getting ready to redo my bathroom. And my other, my sewing room, what used to be in my sewing room. Oh, yeah. It was gold, medium to dark gold, mm -hmm. you know, that color. Kind of like, like that color of that Longer Burger basket back there. Kinda yeah, it, like was, it was gold, and so yeah. it went from that to a super light lilac. Ly lilac. Lavender. Lavender. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah, it's lavender. So it's like Let's you have to look it. at it and go, yeah, it's this light lavender. Yeah. looks white. Yeah. You it all looked white for a while, but I'm starting to get used to them, and I can see Your eyes are adjusting. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, I'm telling you, once you get curtains and pictures hung up, it won't look, they won't look so yeah. striking. So I think I'll have fun making curtains because I'll probably just make valances. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm kind of excited about buying fabric and making some new valances for them. Yeah. If you guys can hear my babies crying, it's the, ba it's the baby monitor. They're upstairs laying down to take a nap. So they're I, talking. if they don't stop crying, I might have to pause and go check on them. Yeah. They're talking right now. Yeah. But they're like talking slash whining. They're tired. They mm -hmm. got wore out today. We went to Lowe's and went to Cracker Barrel to eat, and it was just a big day. So it's fun. All right. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get started talking about yarn. Okay. Yarny things. Okay, so I have one half fo. I showed this last time. This is my crunkled sock, and it's a pattern by Kay Jones from the Bakery Bears, and you can get it on uh, Ravelry. Only I did a twist, a half twisted rib cuff. Because I started this sock not even knowing what sock I was going to make. And I, I like that cuff. So I just did that. And then, yeah, her crinkled pattern. Um, heel flap and just a standard heel flap and gusset. And I believe I did her, um, I think she calls it a French heel turn. Hmm. Um, so I did that. And then her umbrella toe, which I really, I really like the umbrella toe. You can see how it kind of just literally closes up like a little umbrella. And um, this yarn I got um, up in... Michigan, and it is called, I didn't bring the, the ball band, lost it, completely lost it, 
So okay. awesome. Well, I'll have to put it in the show notes. <laughs> no, it's there hand dyed. In, it's hand dyed in Lansing. Um, I don't know. I can't remember what it's called now. But anyway, I started the other one, um, but I didn't bring it with me because it's like I have like four rows done. So I'll probably have those done next time. But what I've been really excited about working on is my current new whip. Mm. So that's what I've been focused on lately. Okay. Let me show it. Anyone yeah, know? because I don't have any info. So okay. Just go ahead. So um, I am making all of my nieces and nephews on my husband's side of the family sweaters for Christmas this year. So I've got two done. I've showed them already. And now I'm on the third one. And I've decided to make the petite knit um, anchor sweater the my boyfriend size. Because this um, this boy is 14, I think. So he can wear a, like a men's small. So that, and I, that'll, you know, go a couple of years for him yeah. at least. So, and also he has um, younger siblings and one of them's a girl. He has a younger sister. And I have seen her wear the sweaters I've made him in the past. Yeah, this one can go either but, way. So I was like, well, if she's doing that, I might as well make one that could kind of go either way. So what I decided on was this um, Pima Reno tweed and it's a Plymouth yarn. Um, I ordered it from, I think, yarn.com. And it said it was a wet, uh, a worsted. <laughs> and oh, it is not. It doesn't look like Because the worsted. pattern calls for worsted. And it is like, I mean, it is like sport weight. Huh. Maybe. It might be DK. Well, you can't tell in there. So, I don't know. I'm just winging it. Does it look like it's going to be big enough? I haven't even checked my gauge because it looks like it's going to work. So, I'm not even worried about it. So, I'm through the oak. And I'm, whoa. Did I just rip a bunch of my stitches out? No. I don't think so. Oh. So close, so close. So I'm through, flamingos. I know. So I'm through, through the oak and I'm into the body, well into the body. That looks pretty good sized. Oh, yeah. And I have, I mean, it'll block. So this is, um, it's got Pima Cotton, obviously, um, Superwash Merino, and Donegal, which I think is the tweed. So it's 109 yards per 50 grams. And that matched up what the pattern, I mean, I feel like when I looked it up, I think that matched up what the yarn in the pattern, what she used, said. Mm. So I remember thinking, well, like, and the yarn.com said it was worsted, so, but I, I think it's going to be fine. I mean, look how, I mean, I could definitely wear this, and I'm better than him. It's a light worsted, but it'll, it's fine. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's going to be just fine. So I'm this far underneath the arms. I, this is all started since last time. So this is all this done. This has been a month. <laughs> That's true. It has been a month, but I feel like, I feel like I've been cranking on this because if you've been watching me for a while, you know, I can't stand it ribbing. It's the worst. Like and one by all one. all ribbing. Yes. And I, I can't believe I'm making another anchor sweater. I made one for me and I like forced myself to finish it because the ribbing was awful. And then I made a baby one, which that one wasn't bad. But then here I am making another one. But you know what? It's not, it's not like challenging. So, but it's not like it's. I don't want to say it's not fun to knit, but it's not very interesting to me. I like to do interesting things, you know, but at the same time, it's just so easy and it's such a, you can't go wrong with it. This yeah. pattern, the, the yoke's just so stretchy and soft. And, mm -hmm. I mean, I wear mine all the time. Oh yeah. So, and the reason I landed on this pattern is because she has a different, she has a version of it for every type of body. <laughs> she has kids, linens, men's. Um, you just made a younger baby. kid or older kids. I mean, like she had babies and older kids. So I was going to make this other sweater really pretty. I think it was called Harry or something. And it was beautiful. It had these cables all, it was like a Henley and then had all these cables here and on the back. But so I started it and the pattern was written out like in line form, which it had a chart, but it had like a chart, a different chart for every single size. So the pattern was like 25 pages long. <laughs> So that over that immediately overwhelmed me, because it was just like, this. Why does it keep printing and keep print? It kept printing and printing and printing, and I'm like, did I push print 25 times? Like, why is it printing so much? So that that all automatically, I was like, oh man, I don't, this pattern is weird. Because that's just not normally. It's like one chart with little add-on lines. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know. So that automatically was weird to me. And then um, the, the the way that you started it, you started it and you had to do these short rows within your cables, like right off the bat. And it was it was written out in sentence form. Mm. Which doesn't follow. sound, like when I say it out loud, it sounds like, well, yeah. I mean, all patterns are written out in sentence form. But it was weird. Yeah. And I had a really hard time following it. And the 
I think the pattern designer, I don't think English was necessarily her first language because it was just slightly odd the way that it was written out. You know what I mean? Like it was just different. And then she used um, commas instead of periods. Hmm. And that was hard because I was like, you didn't know if you ended it or if it was continuing. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was like something, I think it was like in the measurement, it was like the inches and it was like, instead of 10 and a half, it was like 10 comma five. And I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> 10 comma 5. What does that mean? And then finally I'm like, oh, she needs 10 and a half. So it was just stuff like that in the pattern. So I did knit like probably two or three inches. I, I got through the, the band. I knitted the whole band. Hmm. And then I got like two or three inches down into the thing. And I had such a hard time following the pattern. Then I messed up. Hmm. And I could not figure out where or how I messed up. And I couldn't figure out how to get back. So I was like, I'm done. <laughs> this is too hard. It should be fun. It shouldn't be this hard. And it, this I, there's <laughs> no way I was going to go back and start it again because it was too much work to get there in the first place. So I thought, mm -hmm. nope, I'm not doing this. Next. Maybe someday, <laughs> but not today. So I put that to the side and I started looking again and I was like, you know what? Anchor. You can't go wrong. <laughs> I've made it before. I know it's comfortable. It's easy. It'll be mm -hmm. fast. Done. So, because I already had the yarn. So I had to find something that with would work within the yarn. So that kind of also kind of steered me. But anyway, so that's my newest whip. I love the color of it. It's really pretty. Oh yeah, I forgot to say what it was. Um, it is. Hmm. Call it burgundy, but <laughs> last time we talked about how it gets Is it even purple. on here? Good grief. Yeah, that's what it's called. Burgundy. Oh. Yep. That's it. And yeah, it is. It's burgundy. And I think burgundy can go for a man, a boy, or a, a girl. I think it's a unisex color. Yeah, this is more of a red burgundy, not a purple burgundy. Yeah, it's like a, I think. Like Christmassy, crimson. And it's got gray, specks of gray. It's gray and black, and black and brown. Yeah. Yeah, I think it can definitely be unisex either way. Mm -hmm. So that's my newest current whip. Show yours. My current one? My current one is... What was, want? A, was an old one. But, you know me, I changed my mind. <laughs> So, my, <laughs> so, cable, I, so. my cable, um, what was that one called? Mm -hmm. The cardigan I was going to make with the pink cotton yarn. I ripped it's that It's been out. a couple times since you really showed it, I think. Yeah. Well, last time I think I talked about making the other pattern, didn't I? I can't remember. I ran off another pattern. It was really pretty. It was lacy. Uh, oh, yeah. It was a pullover. It was pretty. I mean, it's it's a doable pattern. It was just more than I could handle right now as far as having to watch every row. So I thought, you know, th I ran this one off a good while ago because I watched it on We So and So. She had made it. Oh. Is her name King or Pat or We So and So? The Scottish lady. What is her name? I don't, I can't remember, but it's We So and So. Kit, Kit, uh, Kit, Kit, Kit. No. Maybe. Cat? Maybe Cat. So, I don't know. Anyway, she's she, Scottish. Yeah, it's really she's fun to watch. She's got a new one out too, by the way. Um, she made this. It's the Tinder by Melody Hoffman. And see, and I want to make it for myself. Yeah. So I had already got the pattern, and so I thought, you know what? That looks like it would be fun. And, and you're not easy. making this one for yourself. You just want to do another one someday. Yeah, I want to do it. I had oh, got the pattern God. for myself. I want to make one. Excuse me. I, I decided, I think my sister, mm -hmm. you know, I think we would fit kind of the same style. A little bit. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. So anyway. I haven't seen it since you got the, the little ripples going. Yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. It's so easy. I mean, it's just knit and purl. And there's five five rows and you just keep continuing how does it make five the, How does rows. it make the ripple? Well, like you do two, purl two, knit six. Oh, and, and then, then on the next, next row, row, you move it over a little bit. Yeah, it's real simple. Oh, that's cool. So whatever you start that row with, it looks kind of funny right there, doesn't it? It's just because it's cotton. It shows everything. Cotton does. Well, yeah, maybe that's in the back. It's I don't, fine. It doesn't matter. We're not. Anyway, every row, and then you just do the same thing over and over and over until you get to the end of the row. Oh, but I love it. Anyway, so it. pink cotton. It's real soft. What, cotton, what yarn? I forget. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's, a, it's, a, it's a Valley Yarns, I think, isn't it? Premium? It's very, very like a uh, loose gauge. Yeah, it's gonna think be a very. I would have got. It that. won't be hot. It'll be a nice sweat, uh, sweater to wear. It's Valley Yarns. It's right there. Oh no, that. No, no I'm sorry. It's <laughs> just. The I had it in my other bag. I guess we talked about it a couple times yeah. ago, and I can put it in the description. It is cotton. This isn't cotton. It's the same as my turquoise sweater. No, this is Valley Yarns. No, it's. 
It's cotton. No, it's not. Well, we'll find out next time. I'll let you know. <laughs> We've probably talked about it in the past, but I don't know why I don't it's have not it cotton. in here. You you've never bought any more uh, groups of cotton than that, just that blue. Well, I bought it as a kit, though, for, with that other pattern. It's Valley Yarns, I swear. I know it is. So cotton is what? Webs? So. Knit picks. Knit picks. Oh. And the pattern that you're using is a Valley Yarns see. pattern. See. I'm right. You probably are. She always is. <laughs> anyway, that's what I... So I ripped out the cable one, started another one, ripped it out, and started this one. This is the third try. Third try I think, is the charm. I think it's the winner. Yeah, I do too. I like it. I, I like and I'm enjoying doing it. And I want to do one for myself. Okay. So my turn. Next. We'll alternate. Oh, let me fix my necklace real quick. There we go. All right. So the only other whip I'm working on right now is my Jenny jacket. And there's not a whole lot to show on it because it, it's just like the same as I showed last time. But it's another version. It's another it's the second sleeve. <laughs> I don't know how I'm I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> So you, okay. get second, you don't have them put together. So last time I think I just had one sleeve, didn't I? I don't think I had both of them done. You didn't have both if of them. If I've already showed this, I'm sorry, but I don't think so. I think, I think you had a partly started. Yeah, I think I had it started. So here's my first sleeve, and then here's my second sleeve, and then it's done. So I've got my two sleeves, and then my back. This is my back, which I've showed already. And I'm ready to join them all together and then start the decreases in the yoke. So there's the little, like, underarm part. And then I, I don't know exactly how it works, but you join them all together. They're all supposedly, well, that doesn't look right though. This looks taller than this. It looks like you should have done one on that one. Hmm. I'll have to double check. But anyway, it might just be because maybe you do on the stitch the first row. I don't know. I'll have to double check that. But it's all, it's supposed to be on the same row, and then you start them all together in the same. No, it would. It's ready for one of these. Things. I know, but see how it looks. See how those little X's look taller. Oh, they do. Like looks maybe like, like one row taller. Yeah. So I'll have to I'll have to count them. It could be. This might need to go one more row. Oh shoot! I don't know. But it could be because sometimes when you knit, like these are on a different. This is a different needle than one I knit on the body on. I mean, it's the same size, but it's a different needle. This is a plastic needle, and that's a wooden. Hmm. So it could be because of that. But anyway, it'll all work out just fine. Even if it's a row off, it'll be fine. Hmm. So I'm going to do that probably here soon. But that's more of a use your brain type deal, at least to get it on there and stuff. Yeah, I'll have so, to your brain to put mine on. <laughs> I haven't been wanting to use my brain. So I've been I've been knitting my straight vanilla anchor sweater pretty you're, pretty steadily. You're my knitting doctor. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. So that, I, that's actually all of my stuff. I don't have anything else to show. I don't know where I was last time, but I've done a few rows. Were you, were you there so. last time? Were your stitch marks? Um, I don't know. I, that may have already still been in there. Anyway, I've worked with some on that. That's, and that's all, that's all we're going to say. Oh, the yarn for that is we both are using Fleece and Harmony Selkirk Worsted. Yep. Hers is Blue Poppy and mine is Autumn Birch. Yeah, we don't need to show that. So we've talked about that lots of times. We love that yarn. Mm -hmm. So... Absolutely. Oh, I just love working with that yarn. Yeah, it is. I like working yeah. with it. It's like we talked before. It's If you drop it, it's there. It's not oh, yeah. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not like, ah, I dropped my yarn. No, it just stays there. Yeah. <laughs> and I've been working on my afghan, too. Oh, I, I'm so jealous. I was, that. last time when we showed it, I was, I had this one real in the white. And I've got that much, so I'm kind of coming along. I'll hold along. it up. I'll see it. I'm coming along a little bit. There's a hook. <laughs> well, it's all right. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm so jealous. I want to I wanna crochet really bad. I'm in the mood. Man, I can't stand it. Get that out of here. I love it. <laughs> it seems like everyone makes me so has, jealous. A, has a, a blanket going at the moment. I don't know. I have a blanket going. going. My slip extravaganza. Yeah, it's more of a like work on for a while and put away for a while type deal. And this is all Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. Mm -hmm. For a nice acrylic, for a, I mean, for an acrylic yarn, it's a, it's a nice one. Yeah. And I like it better than like Red Heart. That's all I've all I've worked on. Really? Yeah, that's it. I haven't worked on the sock. I have the other afghan. I haven't worked on it. I'd like to start something new, but you know. No sewing? No. Didn't even get any sewing. Oh, I talked about a red shirt last time. It was too little. I let it out. Yeah, that was fine. So <laughs> I put the sleeves in, put it on way too tight. Oh. It probably would have worked if I cut the sleeves out and make it sleeveless. I don't remember this red shirt. Have you showed it to me? Yeah, I think I showed it to you and you said you wouldn't. 
And I showed it to Laura and she said, I probably wouldn't, but it kind of- Oh, you mean I wouldn't wear it? You wouldn't wear okay. it. It's too little. It'd be too little for you too, I think, mm. maybe. So I'm gonna show it to Julie. Oh yeah. She might wear it. She's it's dressy, tiny. she could wear it to work. Yeah, I she's mean. the tiniest one of us all. Or it goes to Goodwill. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Tell them about that dress you made. She did make Well, dress. okay. I had this old fabric. It was real. It's pretty fabric. It's it's not taffeta. It's just some kind of polyester crepe or yeah, something. It's real pretty. And it was um, <laughs> brocade. Had brocade all over. I mean, I always thought it was pretty. So I tried this dress pattern, kind of just to really to see what the pattern was like. But this, it was it had this big sash that you put on. It's sewed in the side. It's like thick. It's like this big. Yeah. And you were supposed to, you're supposed to bring it around the, see, bring it around the back and then bring it around the front and tie it. I forget something. No, like, bring it around the front and crisscross it and then tie it in the back is what you told me. Yeah. But it's. So that it, it makes like a ruching my, effect. Well, I should have made the, the sash longer even for the pattern, the way the pattern wanted to do it because mm -hmm. I'm too big around. So I had to just tie it one way and come it around and tie it. But it was too heavy. The sash is too heavy. It needs like a real sheer sash that would be coordinating with the dress, but mm -hmm. it may be one of those that gets hung up in the closet and never hemmed. I have be. a few of those. She, uh, I came over here one day and she answered the door with it on. I go, what is that? <laughs> She's like, I just made this this morning. I'm like, why? She's like, well, I've had the fabric forever. I'm like, there's your sign. <laughs> We've had it forever. It's out of style. It's out of style. Actually, it might have been just because you have it doesn't mean you have to use it. <laughs> but what I, I got a dress in mind, and I finally did. I should have brought that pattern in here. I found a pattern. I think I'm going to actually make one I like. Okay. It's got elastic around the waist, mm -hmm. and I'm going to use. Uh, Are you still trying to make a dress for the wedding? No. You found your wedding dress for sure. I've Official. got two up there. I'll try on when Julie comes and see how why everybody okay. thinks. So it's not official until they all say, yeah, that looks My good. nephew's getting married in August, and mm. mom still doesn't. She's been trying to, like, I've sent several out. back. Yeah. I'm like, just pick our dress. Well, I mean, it has to look no, right. Like, you don't know when one. you get them. I'm like, no, don't do that. You'll, it's too much stress on yourself. <laughs> too much stress. Yeah, and I'd probably make it and not wear it anyway. Yeah, you would. Exactly what you would do. And you'd be all stressed out about making this dress, then you wouldn't even wear it. Yeah. Then you'd end up wearing something you hated because you bought it last minute because you didn't give yourself enough time to, to buy one. <laughs> the two that funny. I have, the two ones that are in question there, they feel good on. What was really funny about it is um, when I went to Chicago back in April, oh, we yeah. went to White House Black Market. Where, okay. yeah. So me and my friends went there and I was like, you guys help me pick out a dress for this wedding because my, my girls are going to be the flower girls in the wedding and they're only two. So I know I'm going to end up being like walking down the aisle. Well, it's your nephew's wedding. It'll be pretty anyway. At least squatted down at the end of it or something. I know, I, I, wanted, I still wanted to get a nice dress, but I also wanted a dress that was like long and that wasn't going to gape if I bent over. Like it had to be like to where I could like maneuver, manhandle around. my babies if I needed to. Yeah. Without anything, you know, yeah. happening. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't want anything high maintenance. So I found this dress at um, White House Black Market and I came home and I was all excited about it and it has these little gold like it's green and purple and white and then it has these gold little specks like a metallic -y specks all over it and uh i came home and i'm like telling mama about it and i said i found these gold shoes and i ordered them and i know it's all gonna match and i ordered this purple purse off sheen.com it was like eight dollars and it matched the per it matched the dress and i was all excited and i showed it to her and she's like i literally have that same dress upstairs <laughs> I do. I still have it. I got to it. I know I said. For sure. Well, um, I kind of have my heart set on it, so <laughs> do you think you could wear it yours? It didn't look good on me anyway. <laughs> it made me look real rounded shoulder and fat. I, oh, <laughs> I said, maybe you could wear yours to the rehearsal dinner and I'll wear mine to the wedding because I have it, like, I picked it out I, uh, specifically for all those reasons I just got through saying. But yeah, then she ended up not liking it. Well, it was I didn't funny really like both. it anyway, but I still had it. Yeah. And and we still have it. I need to send that back for oh, too still, late. Oh, yeah, I send it. It's probably too late now. No, I don't think so. I'll send it back anyway. All see right. See what happens. But, yeah. So, anyway, I thought that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> we bought the same dress. <laughs> yes, great minds think alike. Yep. But, anyway, so that's a good time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do you have acquisitions? I have nothing else. Oh, well, I have. That's it for me. I was my um, Pima Pima Reno yarn was an acquisition because I didn't have it last time. Okay, so that Primo Remo about like twelve <laughs> Primo Reno whatever. Um, 
I bought like, a, I don't know, 11 or 12 of those. And that's it. Okay, well, me. I was probably mail the night looking. I don't know what I was doing. Again, like we said, she's been a little crazy this last few weeks. Yeah. <laughs> it was such a good deal. Yeah. It's it was cute. marked way down. Yeah. And it's Valley Yarns by Webbs. It's 100% just wool. It's called Northampton. Ooh. And it's to make a Christmas sweater someday. Pretty good. So I got three of each. So I've got enough to make me a sweater and baby's a sweater. So pretty. So I it's, love it. this is garnet. I envision a, like a color work yoke. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Natural. And what did I say this one was? Did I say? I didn't say. Look at that kitty cat out there. Dark green okay. heather. Oh, we have new kitty cats in there. <laughs> they won't let us touch him, but she actually touched him. That one's my buddy. He let me pet him. Yeah. Finally. If you get like within like two inches of them, usually they're like, <laughs> yeah. but this one, like he kind of hissed and then I like barely touched him. And then the next time he, he hissed a little less aggressively. He was and really I, wanting that milk. And then I actually got to like rub my finger on his head. And the next time I got to rub two fingers on his head. And then finally I got to actually pet him just yeah. for a second before he ran off. We haven't even named them yet. Well, no. You can't name them when they don't let you do anything with them. I mean, yeah, they're cats, kid cats. Yeah, meow meows. Meow meows. <laughs> when I'm at Mallory's, the babies always ask, yeah. meow meows? Mm-hmm. And the meow meows? Yeah, they love meow meows. But all they do is go, <laughs> <Yeah>. at them. <laughs> yeah, they won't let them touch them, that's for sure. But Boy, we're kind of boring today, aren't we? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit boring. I've just been doing paint and wallpaper, so. Mm-hmm. I did buy, I got some, so my girl's birthday is next week, and uh, we're having a little family party, and so... I, a couple weeks ago, I went down to our, like, our, like, local, like, little town. It's really not, it's, like, not much, but it's where the courthouse is and stuff. So, there's, a, there's a square. The yeah. So, they're getting more stuff. And they have a cute little, adorable coffee shop and a little protein shake, like, health food shake place. What you doing? I want to show a couple gifts. Oh, okay. And, uh, so, I went down there one day with the girls just to have something to do. And I went in there and got a protein shake. And then there's an awesome toy store in that town. Yeah, it really is a good toy like, store. It's, it, there's a fly buzzing around. It's weird that, like, out of nowhere, there's this awesome toy store in this little town. It has the really good names. Like, wooden it, toys. Before and... you could buy Melissa and Doug, like, anywhere, they, you, like, they had Melissa and Doug toys. Yeah. That was before you could just go to Target and get them, you yeah. know? But anyway, they've got all, they don't have any chunk, junky, cheap plastic stuff. It's all nice stuff. And they have, like, boutique clothes, too, don't they? Get yeah. Clothes? Mm hmm. Really fun store. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, well, I'll just walk over there and, you know, walk around with the girls. So, of course, they picked out all kinds of stuff they wanted or whatever. And But I ended up buying them um, a couple little toys. And they weren't what I had in mind to get them for their birthday at all. It was just like, well, I'll just get them this instead. So, anyway, I'm, like, walking around. And I see behind this shelf of stuffed animals, this roof, like, barely popping up. These, like, little tiny shingles. And I knew it had to be, like, a dollhouse, mm -hmm. you know. But you couldn't really see it. And it was literally behind a wall of stuffed animals. You could not <laughs> see it. Mm -hmm. So when I got up to the register, I was buying my other stuff. And um, I said, what's the deal with that dollhouse back there? And she goes, what, what dollhouse? And I said, well, it's like behind a wall of stuffed animals. And she's like, I don't know. She acted like she had no idea. I've been back there a while. She's like, you mean the one for like the full-size dolls, you know, like the American girl size? And I said, no, it's not that big. She's like, well, I don't know. So I walk her back there. And I'm like, it's that one right there behind the thing. So she pulls the wheels, the stuffed animals away and pulls it out. And she's like, oh, yeah. She's like, it's broken. I broke the roof one time when I was trying to move it. And, like, I just stuffed it. You know, my grandkids play with it when they come to the store. I was like, well, how much do you want for it? Like, because I had her show me what was wrong with it. And, I mean, it wasn't a big deal. Like, my husband could fix it easy. So she's like, well, she's like, I have brand new ones. Like, you sure you don't want a brand new one? It's in the box, you know. Well, I said, well, how much are the brand new ones? And she said, I think they were at like $169 or $179. And I said, well, how much do you want for this one? And she goes, well, I'd give you 50% off. <laughs> I was like, sold. I'll take it for 50% off for sure. <laughs> so I, it was huge. <laughs> so we, we got it out to my car, put it in there. Um, my husband called me and he's like, did you just charge the credit card for, you know, such and such dollars? And I was like, yeah, so, um, this is what happened. And I had to buy this dollhouse and I told him the whole story and he's like, 
nothing else. <laughs> that's all they're getting for their birthday because that's enough. So I'm like, okay, yeah, 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 I promise that's it, you know. And I was like, I'm just not going to buy him that other stuff. I'm just going to buy him this. He's like, all right, but that's like, that's it. So then I'm like, I had nothing else to do that day. So then I'm walking around and I, I'm walking around the square, just pushing the girls in the stroller, just taking our time. I was drinking my smoothie. And another good store that we have in that town is a furniture store. It's small, but it's nice. It's they quality. They have Lazy Boy. And yeah. They have good brands. And the customer service is great. Yeah. So I just have, they had a 4th of July sale going on. So I went in there. <laughs> I spot this couch immediately because I've been kind of thinking about a new couch for a while, but not anything serious thinking about it. Just like, oh man, I wish I could get a new couch because mine's broken. Down. It was broken down and old and it was red again. It's red. It, it was like this red. brick red color. It was like this color kind of. Yeah. And I'm just That's tired right. of that. I'm tired of that color in my house. So anyway, I spot this couch immediately and the guy was on, on the phone. So I'm like looking at it and stuff. And then I, then I kind of meandered around and I sat on that couch a couple different times and so finally he he gets done with whatever he was doing and he comes over and I, he goes you know what can I help you with and I said well what's your longest couch in here just out of curiosity because my husband and I are both tall and it's annoying when you lay on a couch and your feet are up and up on the you know the other yeah. side of the armrest and, and yours was shorter than normal yours. it was a smaller couch yeah and uh anyway he's like well my longest one's probably that one up there by the door. And he pointed to the one, of course, that I had already, like, scoped out and liked. <laughs> I'm like, oh, of course. And so, and it was on sale. And it's Lazy Boy. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm like, oh, of course. I knew you were going to say that. I was like, that's the one I like. And I was like, oh, man, what am I going to do? I really like that couch. <laughs> he goes, well, I have it in all these colors. And he gets all the samples. And I'm like, yeah, but I like that one. Like, I like that one mm -hmm. for my house. And they sell floor samples. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. anyway, I, um... I decided probably going to get it. Yeah. So. <laughs> so did you go and Will? <laughs> so the guy goes back and he's like getting the paperwork and stuff. And I called Will and I go, how do you feel about me buying a new couch? This is just after he like got on me about charging the credit card for that dollhouse. <laughs> so I was like, um, how do you feel about me buying this new couch? He goes, not good. Quit buying stuff. <laughs> I was like, you know, but like, and I like, you know, gave him my whole spiel and he's like, do what you want. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm buying it. So I bought this new couch and oh, so that's been my like big purchase. So then today, well actually last night, I'm laying on the couch and I just I like decided in my head, I need to redo my bathroom. But I can't spend any money. But my bathroom's awful. I mean if you saw it you'd be it's it's so out of date. Like it's just out of date. It's not awful. It's just It's not like it's dirty. No, but it's either. just it's an older house. It's still got the old Oh my gosh. Oh, and I was real into primitives when I bought the house and I painted, I painted the cabinets are red. It's kind of a McDonald's room, red and gold. Yeah, and gold, <laughs> the walls are gold and it's hideous now. I looked, I loved it when I was into primitives, but now I look at it and I'm like, oh, those colors just, oh, it hurts my eyes. <laughs> like this was the color of my wall. And there's the color of your cabinets. <laughs> and then here's my cabinets. <laughs> so anyway... I was like, man, I really want to modernize that bathroom, but I need to do it like on the cheap and it has to be done by me because Will's, he's cashed out. Like if he's going to work on anything, that is not his priority No, because the bathroom functions. And so his, in his mind, it's the least of our part or at least of our concerns. So I decided I'm going to peel and stick the entire thing. Just everything in that bathroom is going to be peel and sticked or painted <laughs> and or painted. So I looked at peel and stick tile and found some and I'm going to do, since it's just going to be like a cheap floor. I mean, I bought it at Lowe's, which is uh, stupid, but I paid a little bit more money, but then I looked it up later, ended up get you could, I could have got this peel and stick that I want on Amazon. A whole price. bathroom for $25. I ended up paying like 40 or something for it at Lowe's, which I could take it back, but I don't know if I'll jack with it. But yeah, so I'm gonna peel and stick, and I asked the guy, Does, can you peel and stick right on top of linoleum? He said, yeah. So I'm gonna peel and stick right on top of my linoleum, <laughs> and then I'm gonna paint my cabinets black, like a, what, what was it called? Kettle. Kettle black. Kettle That's black. Called, yeah. And then the walls are going to be, because on the bottom, like two thirds of my wall is tile. And they're painted though. They're not real tile. It's like a tile wallboard. It's a sheet. Yeah, a wallboard. Yeah. So yeah. it looks like tile, but it's fake. So I'm going to paint that like a cream, like a tile cream. And then I'm going to paint the the rest of it, the third of the top of it, um, gray. Like a medium. Medium gray. It's not dark and it's not light. Yeah. Yeah. Medium. Yeah. 
So that's what I'm gonna do. And then my floors, this tile I was talking about, is black and white, like mosaic looking. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Yeah. And it's gonna be for forty bucks. Well, and the cost of the paint. Well, yeah, I mean the floor. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. I think I'm gonna, if I can manage it, I think I'm going to. So behind my, like on my backsplash behind my sink, the like the person who previously tried to update this bathroom put this textured stuff all over the walls. So I don't really particularly like it that well. So I think I'm gonna try to like smooth that out maybe with some drywall mud or skim it with the scrape it and then drywall mud it or whatever. And I'm gonna put that peel and stick um, tile and it's super cheap, but it's like, what is it like quartz? Or, it's not quartz, it's, it's probably plastic, but it looks like white quartz subway yeah, tile. It looks, yeah, it looks like that. But it's so I mean, if you look up close, it's gonna look kind of cheapy, but it's going to look better than my bathroom looks now. So I'm really excited about doing that. Change the mirror. And change the mirror. But I'm just going to, I'm just going to change it out to just a, still just a metal mirror. I'm not going to do anything crazy. Yeah. Actually, I saw some at Lowe's that were just base, your basic metal mirror, mm -hmm. only they look updated. Mm -hmm. Instead of like old looking, mm -hmm. it's, it's a nicer, they were round. Yeah. And yeah, they look updated. So I might do that. Yeah. But yeah, Menards has a lot of mirrors also. Mm hmm. And like places like at home and stuff have. Oh, mirrors. Hobby Lobby has tons. Of yeah. Mirrors. So I mean, I can find a mirror, or whatever. <laughs> but yeah. that's gonna be my next project in my house. Cause yeah, I've decided. I gave her the bug because I'm doing all this. I, you did, and yeah. You done my downstairs. And you just bed. got a new couch not that long ago, and that's kind of what gave me the bug. Yeah. To get I guess a new couch. I'm bad influence. Your bad influence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the whole thing about my kids, <laughs> the, whole, the whole thing I was going for there, I got sidetracked. So anyway, I promised Will that was the last thing I was going to buy for the birthdays. Well, then I decided I was going to cricket them some Cocoa Melon shirts for their birthday party because we're doing Cocoa Melon theme. So I went to Target to get these two plain shirts. <laughs> so I get in there, I get the plain shirts. And then I'm like, huh, well, I'm in here. I'm going to see what else I need. So I went down the baby aisle, picked up a few she necessities. Was by yeah, I was by myself. <laughs> And then I was like, well, I'm just going to meander over to toys just to look. <laughs> what am I mean? So I get over there and there's like, it's like a madhouse. There's like, there's this one woman on the speakerphone talking to somebody. She was buying like quantities of stuff. They were having, I mean, everything was like super sale, mm. like the toys. Mm. She was literally buying like For five of the same, or something. or something, or like, Grand I don't know. She was buying like five of the same Barbies and like. Just, she was talking on the phone, like, okay, well, I'm just going to go ahead and get yeah, five of these. should have got my Christmas then. I mean, they were, people were everywhere wiping stuff out. So, I was like, I saw stuff. I was like, oh, my gosh, you know, that's such a good price. Like, oh, man. So, I'm like itching because it was so hard for me not to buy things. So, finally, I'm like, okay, I'm going to get them each one more thing. Just one more thing. Because we're going to give them our stuff on their actual birthday. And then on their birthday party... I told everybody not to bring presents because I don't, you know. It's just a family party. Yeah, and like nobody needs to bring them anything. They have, it's not like they don't have stuff. So I was like, well, I'm just going to get them one more thing and then I'll, I'll let them open that on their birthday party. <laughs> so I found this dancing Mickey Mouse that's like this tall because my girls are into, well, you can't really see. <laughs> it's like 18 inches tall probably. Yeah, probably. And it dances and it spins around and like does all these moves and stuff and it sings songs and Alice has a bunny that she does that with, and, like, she absolutely loves it and goes crazy. So I bought them that because it was super cheap. And then I'm like, well, I got Alice something, so now i got to find Maggie something equal. It has to be, like, big and exciting. Maggie loves cars. She loves, like, little Hot Wheels cars, and she points at cars and says, car, car, you know. So she loves cars. Mm -hmm. So I'm, like, walking by, and on this random shelf, wasn't even with anything else that was even remotely close to it, is this huge Minnie Mouse Mini Cooper. <laughs> It's a mini coop. Is that what it is? A mini coop? Yeah. It's a mini coop. Yeah. For Minnie and, Mouse. Yes. And it's for your doll. It's for Minnie Mouse doll. I just now got that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a mini coop. And it like has these like, they're fake, but they look like leather seats. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. No tag, no box, no, like it wasn't on the right shelf. There was nothing else like it anywhere. I looked everywhere. As soon as I put it in my cart, this woman goes, where'd you get that car? <laughs> And I said, I'm, I got it on this random shelf back there, and, and I can't, I didn't see it anywhere else. She was like, oh, shoot. <laughs> she wanted it. So I couldn't find the price. So I, I found it online, and it was an online sale 
only, online oh. only. So, but there was no other ones in the store. So I took it up to the register and the sale price was good. And I said, I know this is an online sale only, but I can't find any price tag on this thing or anything anywhere. So I was like, I don't want it if you can't give me the sale price. She's like, yeah, I'll give you the sale price. I was <laughs> like, it's the last one and it doesn't have a tag. So it's probably a return. Mm -hmm. So she gave it to me on the sale price. So I was going to hide them from Will and just surprise open them on their birthday and then deal with this, the consequences then. <laughs> But I had him in the back of my car and he, when I pulled into the driveway, to, he was out there and I was getting ready to go pick them up at mom's and I pulled into the driveway to say hi and I said, okay, well, I got to go get the kids and he's like, hey, will you take the trash over to your mom's because we share a dumpster and I said, sure, um, that's fine. He's like, I'll go get it and so I'm like, oh no, I'm going to get busted. <laughs> so he opens the trunk and there's that huge red car in the back. <laughs> and the Mickey Mouse. He goes, what in the world? I said, I know, I'm sorry. He's like, I told you not to buy any more presents. <laughs> and he was kind of laughing, but I was like, I couldn't help it. And I was like, you know, I gave him the whole story. He said, just because it's on sale doesn't mean it doesn't cost money. <laughs> Quit That's true. Spending that is money. a problem. Yes. Like, oh, it's on sale, but it still costs money. He's like, you still spent money. I don't care if it was on sale. I'm like, I know, but they're going to love them. And he's like, I'm serious. You have got to stop. He's like, you are a monster. <laughs> I told him. <laughs> So anyway, but I'm excited. I'm excited about giving. I can't wait to see their little faces. I, I got them. Some and the mom's getting excited too. I had bought them this little outfit. She hasn't seen, so I won't say it. Talking about it. But <laughs> we were in Cracker Barrel, and she found these. Uh, and it will go with what I purchased. Mm. So those they're are the cutest be. cowboy boots I've ever seen. And they Strutting love boots. Around. Yeah, they do. They love boots. And hopefully they'll fit them into the fall. Hopefully so, because the boots that they had last fall that they still try to wear, yeah, they're too small. Yeah. For it. So, so hopefully that will replace that. Yeah. Because I have to hide those boots. Yeah. Because they always want to put them on. And it's yeah. Like, they yeah, don't really they do. fit, so yeah. <laughs> I have to hide them. <laughs> I think these are new, too, since the last podcast. My glasses. New glasses. I got new glasses. She did. I did too, but I don't wear them. I wear them now. Well, since we didn't have much yarn stuff to talk about, I guess we tried to fill in. Yeah. So if you stayed this long, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. We got some of our personal <laughs> stories there. But we are going to have to go. We got some peach crisp to eat. Yeah, I made peach crisp yesterday. Yeah. And I'm going out to dinner here with my friends a few in a few. So. Oh, so you better just eat a little bit then. Better eat before I go to dinner. Eat before you get, then you won't eat so much dinner. Yeah, exactly. I won't spend as much. Yeah, you won't spend I'm as much. I'm and I can't stop spending. They're made out of fresh peaches. I bought <laughs> fresh peaches at a little market in Lagodi mm -hmm. the other day. Fun. Good fresh peaches. From the Amish? Amish no, market. I don't think this is Amish. Oh, okay. I think it's just, it's always been there. Yeah. Almost the same people, but cool. they got a lot of uh, fresh vegetables and some fresh peaches. All right, well. Thanks for listening to us ramble. Yeah, we rambled. Sorry if we were a little boring this time. Hopefully next time we'll have some more exciting stuff. Hopefully. <laughs> I'll be setting more next time instead of up doing stuff. Yeah, definitely. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Well, see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.